Hello everyone, I've and this is a really odd start to a start of a video, but I'm just gonna roll with it. I am saying hello quickly before I head to the gym and I've parked in the worst place like possible. Like look at this. It's not great. But I just thought I would quickly say hello because I'm about to head into the gym. Welcome back to another episode of Time to Grow. We are gonna film an upper body workout today and yeah, I wanted to start it in here so I wasn't like being my loud usual self in the gym but I will try and do a better intro when I get in there depending on how busy it is. Okay, better lighting. Um, we are in the exact same spot that we were in the last episode of Time to Grow so if you haven't checked that out, go have a look at it. Um, yeah, we're going to do an upper body workout today and then I'm going to chat to you a little bit when I get home but upper body, it is comprising of, let's see how many exercises we're doing five exercises. I will, I think I'm just going to do not a voiceover one. I haven't done a voiceover workout in a while um, and if that's something you want me to do please comment and let me know because I'm more than happy to do them. It's just I'm not sure if people really like them and it, they're like a lot, a lot of work. So if you do want a voiceover one please let me know and I will do it. But yeah we're going to do an upper body workout today. First time filming a workout in Snap, so I'm hoping it's gonna go okay. I think people have seen me filming and they're fine with it, so hopefully it'll go all right. But yeah, I hope you enjoy the workout. Oh, actually, really quickly, I um, I did a deload week last week because I haven't done deload since I started here, so we did deload this week. So this is my first week back on like proper weights, and. Um, so I'm basically just trying to match my volume from the week before deload. If I can get above, that's great. But on my deload last week, I've, I've talked about deload before and I'll link above the um, video I did on it. But really briefly, deload is where kind of like you reduce your volume. So it's your volume that's the key thing. So I actually did it last week where for one set I did a lot heavier than what I would normally do. I only did like two or three reps. and one of them I did my usual weight maybe like two reps less though so my volume's a bit odd now because my volume's gone down because obviously I was doing less reps but it was heavier so my volume's going a bit all over the place so I don't think I'm matching the week before deload because I've gone heavier and doing less reps but I need to focus on strength as well as um like high rep stuff because I'm trying to put on muscle. So the method that I normally do is I do two heavy sets and then however many sets I'm doing will be lighter weight. If I'm doing only three, I do tend to do just one heavy set and then focus on form for the other two. But normally I do like three to four and it depends on the exercises. So for like for this workout, I do overhead press first. So what do I do? So I normally do three sets of this and I've been doing one heavy set and then like one in between so I still focus on form because the heavy set allows you to focus on your strength and get the strength like the the weight up but then for hypertrophy you need to be feeling like the muscle connection so doing like one or two heavy sets kind of allows you to do both and then focusing on the form for the rest of them and I really like that method. I got that method from Brett Contreras and he does loads and loads of research on muscle gain, mainly focusing on glutes but I mean it works everywhere so that's what I do and yeah I'll stop talking and we'll get on with the workout.
Okay, I am done now. I'm sorry if it's super loud with the music. Um, I've put you in a locker so I can talk to you as I'm getting my stuff out. I am. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you could see it in the video, but I know it's on tricep extension. <laughs> extension. When I do a rep, I do this after the rep. I do it on loads of different stuff. On like um, like if I do like chest press, like dumbbell bench, I am. Um, I stomp my feet. I've got loads of different things that I'll do that on. Where um, I just do little like other physical movements after the rep. It's really odd. Um, but I suppose whatever works. I'm having to keep an eye because I'm in the changing like bit. Well, not changing bit, but like the locker bit. And I just don't want anyone to come in and feel uncomfortable. Uh, but yeah, work I've done. It was a good workout. Um, it's feeling better now that I've done deload week because things weren't feeling great. I don't know if I'll ever include that, but <laughs> someone came out of the bathroom, so I just kind of shut the locker on you. Um, yeah, it wasn't feeling great before deload. Things were feeling just a bit like off my shoulder. Like I've mentioned multiple times, I have issues with my shoulder. And um, it just, you could feel, I could feel the injury before deload. Um, and it's feeling much better. I just did, I got a PB on overhead press. And I did, um, seated chest press on the machine and that's normally the two things that make it start hurting and it didn't hurt today so it is feeling better and um, I'm now off home and we have radiator guys coming and Jack has an interview in like two minutes so I really need to get home but I shall catch up with you when I get back okay I have just finished my lunch Jack off Jack is just finished his interview. Went well? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I have, I didn't record when I came back because the radiator guys came pretty much straight away and then um I just didn't want to vlog when they were in the house. So yeah, done now. I've had my usual lunch um, and I thought we could talk about protein shakes because I feel like everybody like I, th I think it's a bit of a misconception about why we need to oh i'm trying to build the brightness on i'm sorry if the brightness is off i'm trying to fix it and um, i thought we could talk about protein shakes because i feel like there's a little bit of a confusion with what they are for when people first start going at the gym right sorry if you can hear sizzling jack is cooking his lunch uh, yeah i thought we could talk protein shakes so i think everybody thinks that you need to have one because they like help like them specifically help promote muscle growth and if you've been subscribed for a while I'm sure you'll know this because we've talked about protein shakes before because I've been trying to find ones that I like but if you are new and you've just found my channel and you haven't heard a lot about protein shakes and stuff I feel like people think that you just need to have one after the gym because that just that's what makes your muscles grow when really that's not what protein shakes are for or protein I mean you can have protein shake like protein shakes are a powder essentially I have this one which is the impact whey protein from my protein and then I also have the clear way the vegan clear way from phd these are the main ones that i use uh jack uses the opposite so he has the clear way from my protein and then the normal way from phd but there are tons of different types out there i'm sure you've seen like protein shakes that are pre-mixed that you can buy from like the gym the shop things like that and they've got like massive stickers on being like 30 grams of protein 20 grams of protein but the only reason that Protein shakes are a good thing, is to increase your overall protein intake. It's not actually about the shake itself. It's not about that starts the muscle growing. It's not about anything apart from having protein shakes or protein powder in any type of form increases the overall protein because that's what you need. That's what you want to get from just life in general, but also for putting on muscle especially if you're putting on muscle and also if you're losing weight as well you want to try and increase your protein as much as you can with losing weight because that's when you're going to lose muscle without protein sorry if you can hear ugly crying it's because jack keeps on going in and out and um, what was my what was i saying without protein like having protein powder it is completely achievable to hit your protein goal protein a good amount of protein like you want to aim for is one gram per pound of body weight and that might surprise you if you are new that is quite like if you look at like the average diet for people people tend to not be eating enough protein and 
that does seem high but that's kind of like the right place to be when you look at the research for muscle growth and things like that so you want to aim for like one gram per pound of body weight so for example i hit i'm not going to give an exact number but i hit about 130 grams of protein a day without protein powder i could hit that but it's difficult and it requires me eating a lot of food a lot of meat and a lot of dairy which is fine but I prefer to get it in with protein powder and it's just easier that way because I don't have to buy more food and like spend a lot of money buying that food and having like 200 grams of chicken. This just makes it a lot easier because it's just a drink or yogurt. You'll know if you subscribed. I have like, I used to eat a lot of like protein powder and yogurt mixed together. But doing this just is an easy and quick way of upping your protein and that is why people have it. It's not to just have that protein shake, it's to up the entire protein intake of that day because that's what you need to aim for. I just feel like a lot of people like think that they need a protein shake when they go to the gym and they don't have to. If your protein is high enough without this, you don't need to have one. So I just thought we could talk about that a little bit because I see it happening a lot but if you want recommendations the strawberry clear vegan way from phd is my favorite one like it's a lovely drink whereas like this i just shot it because i'm not i'm not a fan of like creamy kind of drinks whereas this is a lovely lovely drink so i definitely recommend that but yeah that is it i am actually going to finish off the video there uh so you had a little bit of a chat about protein and an upper body workout i hope you guys enjoyed it i am wanting requests for the time to grow series it's still going i'm still trying to put on muscle and recover so yeah if you have any requests of things that you want to see please let me know if you did enjoy please make sure to leave it a like i've mentioned it before but these videos don't always do the best in terms of like youtube metrics so it really helps me out if you like it and because I, I like doing these so i really appreciate it if you're new subscribe and yeah that is it i shall see you in the next one bye guys